Good afternoon. The old fisherman's back with you. Hey, I'm going to try to show y'all how to clean uh, a catfish, a big skin, a fillet of catfish, skin of catfish, and I'm going to fillet another perch for you while I got you here. I'm in my backyard by my goldfish pond. I got a nice little goldfish pond here with about 30 goldfish around in it. But, uh, hey, first off, I'm going to show you how to skin a little catfish. What I do to skin a little catfish. See this little catfish? First thing you do is you cut the little uh, thorns off of them, I call it the fins. You cut them off, and then I always pull up that little lip right there and put my finger in it, okay? Then you got a little clip, a little fin side clip here that I can catch, kind of twist, and I pull down. And then I go around like that, and I pull down, and I get the other little fin on the other side and kind of mash it. And then I go back up under it and pull that off. And then I pull down on each side a little bit, just like that. And hey, you got a skint catfish. Now, after you do that, you want to go to the bottom right here up under this little white bottom and pull it off. And and there he is, a skint catfish. Now that's with the head on. And I'll do another one right quick. You clip the fins off, first thing, where they won't stick you, on both sides and the top. What I do now. I, I like to get my fingers up underneath there into his gills, and then I clip down on the side and pull down. Then I go on that edge and pull around. Then I'll do the same thing on the other side, go on the bottom, pull around, and pull that off. Then you go down on each side. It's that simple, not much to it, and you work it down on each side, and uh, that's how you skin a catfish, and that's what the way I skin a catfish. Now, I'm sure other people got different ways, and there again, you go under his belly, and you pull it around, and you got him skinned. Now here's one a little bit smaller. We're going to do him. Same method. Clip all three of the fins off. Put your fingers in here. Y'all see me doing it now. I hope you can. Then I go on each side. I pull down a little bit. I clip up under that, that fin and pull it around. Go down. Hey. And you basically work it down a little bit on each side, and you got a skint catfish. Then I turn him around, go up on his belly, and I got his little flap. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not, but if you fillet a catfish, what I normally do is I go down behind the fin, behind the head, and go out against the bone. I don't use an electric knife. I use a regular knife. This table's a little wobbly because this is not normally where I clean fish. And then I'll get my knife blade against the meat and the skin, and I hope you can see it. And I go out all the way out till it goes all the way through. Then I cut the rib cage out. The table is really wobbly. But then, hey, in this case I got a little bit of skin I missed. I just, I just, I like to trim the red meat out, and I kind of go along the back and trim all the red meat out. That's a blue cat, and then I go up in there. Got a little red uh, bean. And I trim the edges of that red stuff out. And that makes a good filet. And you don't have all that, that red meat, it's what strong meat. And you end up with a nice, a nice filet of catfish. And then we're going to turn him over and do the other side. And I hope y'all can see this. But I cut down beside the head. I hold my fingers in his mouth. And then I go out the, to the back, toward his tail. And I filet it down, but I don't go all the way through. I stop. That gives me something to hold on to. Then I get between the meat and the skin, and I just work it down, and that trims a lot of that red meat off on, and leaves it on the skin. And so he's done. Now, I'll take that fillet, and I like to cut the rib cage, cut the bones out, and I'll do that, and then I'll turn him over. If I got any red meat, kind of scrape it off, or the blue it'll scrape off, and then I'll come and kind of buckle him up and trim it back, and then I cut the red meat off, and then you got a filet with no red meat on it and it's good eating. Now, a perch filet, I've done it before, but I'll do it again for you. Perch filet. I cut down by the head. I turn the blade. I hold the bone against the, uh, the, the knife against the backbone and you come out with a piece of filet. With the skin on it, I do the other side, same way. Go down and then I, I go out between the bone and the uh, rib cage, a rib cage and the bone, backbone, and then they got a fillet. Throw that away. The backbone I throw away. 
And then, what I do at this point, is I'll go down right beside the rib cage, cut down, turn my knife at a 45 and run out the skin. The skin keeps the knife blade in, and you've got a pretty fillet, perch fillet, and we do the same thing with the other. I go right down next to the uh, rib cage, go down to the skin, turn the blade, and kind of work the, the knife between the skin and the meat, and you've got a pretty fillet. That's how Steve Cumberlander skins catfish and fillets perch. And I'm going to show you a little bit of my backyard while I got you here. I got a goldfish pond. You can see the goldfish down in it. Got a little filter there on the side for the waterfall. Got a rock uh, hill there with rock. The water comes out of it. Into a pond up here. And there's a couple goldfish up here, but they hide up under them stones. And it creeps down to the bottom. So we got running water back here all the time. Kind of my getaway back here. And then we got a little patio and a, and a little pool. We got a white fence in petition there and in the backyard of the house. This is where the old fisherman lives and spends his time with Miss Deborah. Around the pool. And we got a greenhouse back there, the old truck, and my shed. I keep my boats and a camper. This is where we live. Hey, the old fisherman is enjoying his retirement. And hey, just showed you how to clean some fish. And I hope that you get how I clean them fish. I hope you can see it. But uh, be, we'll be back with you in another episode of something sooner or later. See ya.